Hello students, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to go through with the summary of To the Others written by Jack Davis. This is about the author Jack Davis. He is one of the Australian playwright, poet and even activist. He was born in Western Australia in 1917 and passed away in 2000. His writings are mostly about aboriginal life of Australia. First, we'll understand what is it about the poem. So, real name or the real name or title of the poem is uh, not to the others, but actually it is Aboriginal Australia. The poem focus about the European settlers, how they influenced on the Aboriginal Australians. European population brought death and oppression to the real people who lived in Australia. So Davis mentions about their hardship, how their ancestors faced the problems with the arrival of the European settlers in Australia. So we'll first discuss with the introduction. Aboriginal means the real people of a country or region is called as Aboriginal. The real settlers of Australian island or continent were the real people of Australia which is called as Aboriginal Australians. The Britishers dominated Australia in 1788. They controlled the people and snatched their land. From 1910 to 1970, 10 to 33% of the Aboriginal Australians were forbidden to use their language. The children were forced not to talk into their native language. 3% struggling to maintain their heritage and culture, their ethnicity which they used to follow and fighting and still they are fighting for the recognition of the real Australian uh, Aboriginal Australians from the Australian government. The summary starts like this. How they came? First they came as a brother okay, and smiled. So smile of a brother was very dangerous. Now, the poet begins the poem. How the foreign settlers arrived in Australia? They once smiled very friendly and they said like we are like brothers and they won the heart of the aboriginal australians but their behavior changed gradually thus the smiley face and friendliness which the aboriginals believed turned in a very short time okay to as a enemy after that their real faces unveiled they changed their nature and white settlers started showing their true character. They betrayed the trust of the Aboriginal Australians and took their happiness forever because they sold their children for slavery. They sold their children for slavery. They closed all the books of law and treated so mercilessly, so inhuman and injustice. They Completely unheard, they didn't heard the plea of Irkala. Irkala means the real people of Australia living in an, an Arham land. Okay, Arham land where there are certain tribe which were used to live like Yongu, Irkala. Arham land reserve in 1931, they had a law. That, that this land, the tribe who are living in this land will not be ruled by the Australian government. But in 1952, they found bauxite over there. So it can be used in a very good manner for the commercial purpose. So they completely changed the law and they destroyed the traditional living of the Aboriginal Australians in the Arham, Arham land which is in Yirkala. Still they are fighting for their rights, poet describes in a very sad manner. Now the poet goes through with various past memory. He recalls various past events which happened. So the first event which happened was Lake George Hill. It is a water that does not flow out to river or ocean. So it was a very, very warm. They used for hunting purpose. See, Aboriginal Australians were the real people who were living and they were the hunters. Okay. Now, what happened? The Britishers completely uh, took that Lake George Hill. Okay. For their own living and for their own settlement. So that they completely destroyed the ecology of the 
australia so that these people started to starve to death because they have now where the animals used to come to drink water and all that itself they completely uh, completely covered it so that they can build their own houses and lands okay uh, they completely seized to those lands to make their own houses so it completely affected the ecology nature and the aboriginal australians were not able to hunt so that they were starving to death and apart from that the australians brought many diseases to uh, so the wh Euro white settlers brought many diseases to which the australian tribes were completely vanished after that the foreigners forcefully wanted to convert the aboriginal australians to christianity and they had their own culture they had their own faith they had their own way of prayers but the foreigners the settlers the european settlers they wanted to change the religion of the aboriginal australians after that warara means go away when the colonizer colonizers foreigners came to settle in australia on that time the aboriginal australians used to scream warara it means to go away please go away to your nation they used to cry to go away but who went the aboriginal people they itself gone away and that too forever because the white settlers killed them with their kith and kin with family they just killed them off so that who gone forever the aboriginal people the real settlers of the australian people they completely gone with their families the poet seek a pen now poet poet seeks a pen so that he can describe his mind okay his mind about your freckled mind it means the poet want to describe the mentality of the foreigners the mentality of the white settlers the poet want investigation because white people are convict of black black people's death the aboriginal australians people's death their white skin has black spot it means it describes that their europeans white skin ha he has their mentality the minds of evil intention after this we have to write a, again a paragraph which is about mourning for a murray tribe so there are certain tribes almost 40 tribe who used to live in a murray river okay and the the british settlers when they came to australia they started buildings okay because australia was very pure with nature and the people who were living there were they were very completely natural very much cultural they had their own ethnical life and they started modernization over australia so they started building uh, started to build buildings over there so it completely affected the ecosystem apart from that they brought diseases like smallpox and syphilis etc so that aboriginal people were illiterate so that they got vanished without any trace 1934 a tribe man killed a white settler to which australian governor whose name is sterling he killed almost 80 tribe men and when the other people wanted to run away so that they can save their life on that time the governor was ha having a smiley face he was smiling over looking at the people who were running for lives to save their lives now poet recalls his ancestors the aboriginals were killed with the rope they he used to execute them the the white settlers used to execute them to shot them with the help of gun so here the poet is going through with the recalling how their ancestors suffered aboriginal australians were different from the white settlers they had their own culture they had their own tradition of life but they killed the ancestors who were living the real people who were all living in australia and he moans for all the tribe who got killed and buried see they all started to protest so that they should not settle here but the leader who were supporting the aboriginal australians he himself ran away when the leader ran away the rest of the people got killed and he, they were buried so it, it this happened in the year 1834 when the leader 
who were representing the aboriginal australian he himself ran away so that the rest of the people got killed and buried after that now the poet describes the suffering of christ christ our jesus sorry jesus christ how jesus was crucified by roman because he was for romans jesus christ was as a threat similarly the white people also brought the same law that they will always uh, have equality okay the law will have the equal uh, equality for all the white people and with the aboriginal australian but when aboriginal australian started to fight for their rights on that time they completely changed the law because they felt it was a threat the fight the protest of aboriginal australian is a threat to the white settlers so they completely changed the book of law and they killed the tribe and changed the law completely on the favoritism of the europeans white settlers that is why jake dave is asking today you are singing the glory of australia you are being proud being an australian but justify me the glory of australia because the australia has a black history okay every white australia what you see today has a black history has a blood bath of many many aboriginal australians so that is what how will you justify the glory of australia when it has such a black tragedy such a black history so by this we end up with the conclusion that white australia has a black history if you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe and comment your suggestions below and the pdf you will get it in the description so please support to my channel and please forward it to your friends even they can go through with it and it is going to be very very helpful for your coming semesters thank you so much for watching